Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Nick from Australia and welcome to the Thursday Night Football Review for Round 4 of the 2024 NRL season. And the Penrith Panthers, the reigning premiers, prove their depth and their class by beating the Sydney Roosters at Allianz Stadium. 22 points to 16. What a quality game, man. I thought Penrith were the better team for the majority of the game. Thought they were in control. Obviously, they were leading 22-6, and they sort of let the Roosters back in it towards the end, which I'll be a little bit disappointed about, I reckon. But in the end, uh, the class of Penrith, just a little bit too good. But if you guys are new around here, don't forget to like the stream and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. And if you're a regular viewer... Um, of the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. I am doing this stream off, off my, my, my mobile phone, so probably won't be a long review. We'll just go over the game sort of thing. Um, hello in the live chat. Hello to Jason Reader. Jason Reader, SS Storm fan. Will, Jeffrey, Hosea. Hope you guys are all doing well. Now, first thing I want to talk about, I obviously Penrith got off to a really good start. Taruva scoring that first try. Was absolutely well done, but the the no try to Joseph Manu, I, I thought, you know, that was a really bad decision, man. I actually went on a bit of a rant about that, man. I was obviously I'm watching the game out here with mum and dad, and the thing that annoys me the most, guys, about that Joseph Manu no try was the fact that. Um, when, when Jared Maria Hargraves ran through as the decoy runner, um, he made contact with Dylan Edwards. Dylan Edwards literally ran into Jared Maria Hargraves. Jared went through the line and did his job. Dylan Edwards was 25 metres from the ball. He was 0, 0.0 chance of getting to the ball, man. It was on the... It was it was so far away from the play. Look, Jared ran through as a decoy. I don't know what, what Jared's supposed to do. He did his fucking job. What is Hargraves meant to do? Manu scores to try. Edwards is nowhere near him. Edwards was never going to get there. It was ridiculous, man. I think that was one of... The worst obstruction calls all all year. One of the worst. Should have been a try. Um, if Trent Robinson has a whinge at the press conference about that Manu, no try. He has every right to be upset because that was a just an a atrocious decision. Now, did it have an impact on the game? I don't think so. It was 12-0 Penrith. Then it went to 14. So, look... It's a, it's a little bit similar to the Paramount and Manly game. Um, you know, you, you go back and watch that. What's his name? Moretti and the whole Jake Trebojevic thing. I can live with that because Jake didn't finish his run. So, like, that one I can live with. But this Joseph Manu, no try, was just a shocking decision. I thought it was poor. But let's talk about the game. Penrith. So ruthless early, man. Like the Taruva try, first one of the game. And then you had uh, Dylan Edwards score a phenomenal try. The step on Tedesco was beautiful. And then the grubber kick for him to get to get there was a hell of an effort, man. 14-0. Um, Penrith were in control, man. And then Satili Tupanilla scoring off that grubber kick right on half time. He only just grounded that ball, Tupanilla, so... You'll take the tries that you can get. It'll be 14-6 at the break. I thought 14-6 was probably a good, true reflection on the game. It felt like Penrith were a lot better than eight than an eight-point lead, but I think it was a, I think it was a bit right. And then obviously Penrith kicked on a little bit, try to uh, to River again. It was like 18-6, and then to River again 22-6, and then. It, it looked. It honestly looked like the Panthers were going to kick on, and you know potentially go up by you know twenty to thirty points. It really felt like that, and then 
Um, obviously, the Roosters hit back there through uh, Brendan Smith. The cheese ended up crashing over late. That made it 22-12. Still, what, five minutes to go. And then, obviously, uh, Daniel Tupo. Um, Daniel Tupo's try at the end there with about, what, 40 seconds to go. That made it 22 points to 16. And then, obviously, um, the Roosters ran out of time. They threw the ball and come off Penrith, went out. That was it. Now, the thing that I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear Roosters fans say, oh, the Joseph Manu no try robbed us of the game. At the at that point, it was 12-0 Penrith. How can you say you're ripped off when you're behind 12-0? Like, that's crazy to me, man. That's crazy. If it was 12 all, or if it was 16 all, and that try went against you, then okay, you've got a case. But, nah, no robbery at all. I don't want to be hearing that crap, man. Um, the Roosters made, I think, too many errors. Uh, the discipline was really poor. They were deliberately offside a few times, giving away six agains, and then uh, Penrith would hold them out majority of the time. Um, I think Penrith were just a little bit gassed towards the end, and the Roosters found some points. So, like you know, it was it was a decent game. It, I wouldn't say it was the best game of football. I mean, when Penrith got out to twelve nil, fourteen nil, I never felt like the Roosters were going to win. It always, like in the back of my mind, watching the game live, it felt like Penrith were in control. It doesn't seem like the Roosters are gonna are gonna win. Penrith don't. It doesn't even look like Penrith are gonna lose. Um, you know, so many people, so many people picked the Roosters, and I just, I found it funny. I found it funny, the amount of people picking the Roosters. I'm like, why, why? The Roosters aren't going that great. They beat the Broncos in Vegas on a ground that. Um, where there was like barely any room for anyone to really create anything, and it was a v Vegas game. It was a flip of the coin. Whichever team prepared the best was was going to win Vegas. Then then they had obviously the week off because of like getting back from Vegas. Then they lost to Manly at Brookfield. They were outplayed by Manly. Manly gave it to them. And then last week it was a rivalry game, so there's no form at all. And they destroyed the Rabbitohs, what forty eight to six. So. I was, and now they just got beat by Penrith, who never had Fisher, Harris, Cleary, Sorensen, and um, you know, I've, just because Penrith have got a few players out doesn't mean they still can't win. They've won the comp the last three years for a reason. They've got quality depth. They've got quality juniors. They've got the best system in the competition. Just because Cleary's out doesn't mean everyone should just freak out and go, oh, "I'm going to tip the Roosters." The Roosters are not a top four team right now. They might be in, you know, 10 weeks' time when we get more of an idea on how teams are going to go this season. But the Roosters are not on the level of Penrith yet. I don't care how good their roster is on paper. The only player Roosters had out tonight was Collins and um, Spencer Lenu. That's it. You know, they still had Kiri, Tedesco, Manu. Uh, you know, Radley, Sam Walker, Cheese, like, the Roosters roster is ridiculously stacked, but Penrith's, Penrith's a different level, man, and I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm, I tip Penrith, I was confident Penrith would win, I said Penrith by four, they won by six, so I was pretty close to getting that right, but Penrith are a different level, people, they are a different level, the Roosters, I don't think they're that far away from Penrith, but there's still a few things i got to work on. Still a few things. Just, just because Cleary's out, you know, Brad Schneider, he does a job. He did go to England at the end of last, or mid mid year last year, played really well for whole KR. And he's come back, you know, he's a backup halfback at the Panthers, and he just does the job, bro. I thought he was great tonight, too, Brad Schneider. I thought Penrith, a little bit too good. Roosters will be fine. I'm not going to write them off or anything like that, but they're not a top four team yet. They're still inconsistent, man. Outplayed by Manly, you know. Good win against the Broncos in Vegas, and then obviously they smashed South, and then they lost tonight. Just 
Roosters are, Roosters are a good team, but they're not they're not top level yet, man. They're still pretty inconsistent. Win, loss, win, loss to start the year. So, you know, they played a really good team tonight. We'll see how they go against other good teams. I think they got the Bulldogs next week. They probably should beat the Bulldogs. Um, if they fair income, they will beat the Bulldogs. But we'll see what happens, man. Look, like, I'm going to say this as well. Like, with all due respect, Luke Carey, legend of the game. Well, he's won three grand finals at 5'8". You know, he's won a club Churchill. It is clear to me that Sendon Smith is the best Roosters number six going forward. He gave Sam Walker a lot of room last last week and did really well. Luke Kerry's had a few head knocks and he's getting a lot older and a lot slower. I think the Roosters, honestly, when Sendon Smith comes back from injury, I'd be going Sendon Smith at six, Walker seven, Luke Kerry just yeah, he's gonna I reckon he should miss out. Um they look like a better team with with Sandon Smith in the halves. Um, I don't think I don't think I don't think um, Luke Kiry has it anymore. That's just my opinion. I thought he was poor tonight, Luke Kiry. Um, my player of the game is Dylan Edwards. I thought Dylan Edwards was absolutely outstanding. Scored a try, uh, looked clinical. Although Taruva was good as well, got a hat trick. I did have a dollar on Taruva for a hat trick, which won me a little bit of money, but. Um, yeah, Trevor was good. And let me just say, if you picked Penrith at $2.60, odds, congratulations. Good coin. Uh, best players for the Roosters. I thought Joseph Manu was outstanding. I thought, um, I thought Victor Radley was really solid tonight. I thought Sawali could have passed the ball a bit more, but Penrith just too good. Player of the game, Edwards. Trevor close second. Then I'd say Manu probably would be just after that, so... That's going to conclude the review, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that to the channel. I am heading to Brisbane tomorrow for Broncos versus Cowboys. I'll be in the Cowboys Bay cheering on the lads. There will be a vlog. There'll be a live review from the stadium or outside the stadium after the ground after the game. So hopefully we get the job done tomorrow and go 4-0. Thanks for watching the review, guys. Like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.